Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center. Today we're going to be going over nesting boxes. Now, making the nesting box is pretty simple, and we'll go over that, but I just wanted to talk about how, um, as far as when you put the nesting box in, after the breeding, I actually use my smartphone. Today I got home, and I was busy, and my alarm on my phone went off about the nesting box. So that's a pretty good system, and I recommend it. Uh, usually on day 29, we'll put it in. And the reason why, I mean, it was a couple years ago when we didn't even put these nesting boxes in because the, the rabbits usually kindle in the cooling stations. They usually kindle in the kindle totes we put in, in the rabbit run. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But uh, it was a couple years ago where one of the does, Monica, decided to... The bee flying over me. Yellow jacket. Uh, yeah, it was a couple years ago, one of our does, Monica, decided to pull fur. We had these little hide boxes in the cages. Um, Rachel actually doesn't have one in here right now, but uh, normally they all have hide boxes, and she decided to kindle in that. So just as a precaution, we'll always throw this nesting box in there on day 29 or 30 at the latest. And, and you just don't want to put them in too early because they'll, they'll just use them as a litter box. So, um, so we'll go over how we build our... our uh, or I'm sorry, how we build um, the nest in the box, and um, I'll show you the cooling stations and the kindling tote. Okay, these are our cooling stations. We have a ramp that goes into a six inch tile, and it goes into our cooling totes. The other day on a 90 degree day, we took the temperature, it was 15 degrees colder inside and the mulch was 11 degrees colder on a 90 degree day. So this is a ideal safe area for a rabbit to kindle in. Now I'll take this off real quick and I'll show you. Now just popping that open, I could this cold breeze, I could feel it. Okay. Okay. Every year, due to rain, erosion, we have to come in here, I think we get a, a half a yard, it's like nine dollars at your landscape supply, and we drop dirt all around these totes. That creates insulation, keeps them cold. In the winter, it keeps them warm. Now I'll show you what our kindling tote looks like. This top is insulated, wood corrugated plastic, insulation. We'll top this, take this top off. I'll try to lean this forward so you can see. So we take these kindling totes, we'll add a bunch of hay, we frame out with one by four. We make little steps right here, and they like to kindle right in the very it's back. because they can safely come in here, and they don't get trampled. They have little steps right here. It's framed in by a one by four. On the rabbitrycenter.com, Click on helpful tips and we show you how you take a 1 by 10 and we noted every cut you make and you can make this with one board. Now this is how we make our nest in our nesting box. So first we take a piece of paper, we use that as a liner. We take pine shavings. And we want to put about an inch in. I mean, if you put two inches in, that's fine too. That's good. And then we take straw, not hay, straw. And what I do is I, I twist it. I twist it and I put it to the back. I twist it and I, I just made a little donut right there. 
Now, it doesn't really matter how neat you make it because mom's gonna get in here and she's gonna make it all over again. So, just pack this baby with straw. Just like that. And there you have it, nothing to it. So we'll wait a couple days and we will see, we'll stay with you and we will show you what, uh, what area she decides to kindle in. Now you'll notice that this cage is wrapped with hardware cloth and we do that with all our does cage just to make sure in event being that she does decide to kindle up here, um, those kits are so small they can squeeze through these, these little holes. So you wanna go ahead and wrap them uh, wrap all your cages in hardware cloth and you can just use zip ties surprisingly the rabbits don't chew on it and you know spend all their time chewing on those zip ties they just usually leave it alone Fresh litter. Look at that very fresh litter. Good job, Mama.